Hello friends, you're on the Gradient channel. Today we're going to talk about how to weld ceiling sims with an inverter and a semi-automatic machine. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Here we go! And of course, friends, on our website, gradientua.com, you will find an assortment of torches and torch accessories, welded protection products and many other items. The link is in the description. Welding a ceiling sim is one of the most difficult welding processes. In the process, molten metal can drip down, which worsens the weld and poses a certain danger to the welder. This type requires considerable knowledge and skills to perform high-quality welding work. In this video, we will use the Ecomeg 160 PET semi-automatic welding machine, which simultaneously welds in both MIG MAC and MMA modes for training. We will weld low alloy steel with a thickness of 6 mm and 3.2 mm electrode and a 0.8 mm welding wire from Gradient Trademark. Before starting work, do not forget to prepare the metal. There are always various contaminants in the workpiece, rust, paint and others. These contaminants affect the quality of the weld. It is necessary to clean the weld zones to a width of 20 to 25 mm from the joint with a metal brush. If the workpiece is heavily contaminated, use vinegar or a solvent. Also, before starting, make several tacks to firmly fix the workpiece and avoid deformation during welding. Let's start with welding with the inverter. For welding in the ceiling position, the current must be reduced by 20-25% of the set current as for welding in the lower position. This is to prevent the metal from spreading during welding, but in general, the settings will depend on the welder scales. For novice welders, we have prepared a table that can be used to set the current strength when a welding a ceiling sim. For a high-quality ceiling sim with an electrode, the following rules must be followed. For metal with a thickness of 4 mm or more, we recommend chamfering. This will increase the penetration of the metal and the quality of the weld. The contours of the sim will also be better visible. Welding should be done only with the arc detachment, or otherwise with tacks. The metal has time to cool down during the arc break and does not spread. The electrode angle is from 30 to 45 degrees. The main task is to keep the weld pool in the working area with smooth movements. Keep the weld pool at the optimum level of molten metal. The rollers must lie on top of each other. Keep in mind that during welding, the visual appearance of the weld with slag will differ greatly from the desired result. However, if you choose the right settings, follow all the rules and clean the weld properly, you will get a high-quality result. Let's move on to semi-automatic welding. To weld a ceiling sim, we recommend setting the current to the same value as for welding in the lower position or even increasing it by 10%. This is to prevent the metal from spreading during welding, but in general, the settings will depend on the welder's skills. For novice welders, we have prepared a table that can be used to set the current strength for welding a vertical sim. For a high-quality vertical sim with a semi-automatic machine, you must adhere to the following rules. For metal with a thickness of 4 mm or more, we recommend chamfering. This will increase the penetration of the metal and the quality of the weld. The contours of the weld will also be better visible. Welding should be done only with the arc detachment, or otherwise with tacks. The type of welding is selected depending on the desired result. A novice welder can choose a more convenient type of welding, torch angle from 30 to 45 degrees. The position of the welder is also important. The welder must have a clear view of the weld pool and the arc itself. To improve the quality of the weld, use non-stick agents. If you choose the right settings, follow all the rules and clean the seam properly, you will get a high-quality result. 
Thank you for watching this video. We hope it was useful to you. Subscribe to our channel and other social media platforms. See you next time.